Uh, my name is Nova Zyke. I live in Los Angeles and I've been clowning for about 10 years. So I first became interested in clowning uh, when I was younger. My mom was a clown, but at the time I refused to be a clown when I was about 15. She asked me to come do children's parties with her as a clown and I said, absolutely not, there is no way I'm 15, that would crush me. Um, so I did parties with her as Tina Ballerina until I got into college. I realized I could do a lot more parties if I was a clown. Um, so that was the first time I ever put on clown makeup. I was 18 and I looked exactly like my mother. <laughs> like my mother clown, it was terrifying. And, um, but so I did that all throughout uh, college for children's parties and then I went to a kind of out there uh, art school and um, I decided to be kind of like a racy clown where I wore nipple pasties and a clown outfit and a tutu and I'll just never forget it was the most attractive I've ever felt and I thought that was the strangest thing and from that moment I started to think more about this kind of character um, and the kind of power of hiding behind a painted face sort of like a mask and um, all of these kinds of things that I've done. Uh, I was a dancer most of my life. I also do sideshow like glass walking and fire eating um, and clowning is the one thing where I can take all of those things and put them all together as, as opposed to doing them all kind of separately. Um, so that's kind of how I came up with my clown character. I love being a clown uh, because it does give you like an extra oomph to what you are trying to express and what you can um, make the audience see and feel. And I think uh, sort of clowning, everybody kind of feels like a clown a little bit. Um, like everybody is, is the fool, everybody. That's kind of the idea of clowning is um, not always to take like all of the happy emotions and express those, but to take like the deepest, saddest parts of humanity, which is you know, mistakes and falling and the kind of like slapstick stuff. Like it's all kind of um, just this exaggerated kind of thing of what it is to be human and the different kind of emotions. And my specific thing, um, like the feeling of, of magic and wonder are really important to me and I feel like to express those things as a clown, it just is very cohesive and people just immediately get it as opposed to just being a dancer or some other kind of already human kind of character because clowns already are so whimsical and kind of um, just, it's easier to connect with an audience in that way, I think. My mom saw me uh, as a clown, I mean mostly throughout my life and she would call me her mini me because I really looked exactly like her as a clown because we did the same face. And like sometimes I would see my own reflection and be like, mom, oh, that's me, ah, <laughs> it's weird.